The second new feature is the addressable system. The goal of addressable assets is to create dynamically loading assets and to make using asset bundles simpler. Right now in Unity, if you need to load assets dynamically, you have two choices. You can put them in the resources folder and use resources.load to load them. This has two main drawbacks. The first is everything is loaded by path. Moving or renaming files requires you to go back into the code and change the path or the system will fail loading. Secondly, you also need to know what you want to load explicitly, as there is no way to enumerate what is in the resources at runtime. It is not very extensible, and it will also pack everything in the folder in the final game data. So updating a couple of files in the folder will force you to update the whole packed resources file in your build, leading to a bigger update size. An alternative is that you can build asset bundles and load those asset bundles. This is the solution Trashdash currently uses. The content team put each character into their own bundle, then built the bundles through editor code written for the project. Then they copied the bundles into the streaming assets folder, so they got bundled with the application. Finally, they looped through all bundles in code to find which categories they belong to and load them into the appropriate database. Authoring the bundles can be prone to errors, and requires code to be written to load and list them. You may have to write some custom code to handle simulating bundles in the editor to improve the testing process. This solution also doesn't support versioning bundles or delivering additional bundles through the internet without additional fairly extensive code being written. The addressables system aims to fix these problems. To get started with addressables, we need to add the addressable package to the project. In Unity 2018.2, which we are currently using, addressables aren't in the package manager yet. So we need to open our package manifest file and add a line to it. We can do this by navigating to the project folder, then to packages, and double clicking to open the manifest.json file. Let's add the line we need, shown here. After adding this line, we can save the file and return to the editor. If you are watching this later, check the package manager as they eventually will be added there. When we return to the editor, we will see that the install process has begun. Let's wait for this to finish. Once the install has finished, we can check if we installed addressables properly by reopening the package manager. We can see that addressables system are now listed in package manager, which means that we have successfully installed the package. Also, we can now check for future updates to the system and install them from here.